I'm going to teach you a blues lick. Big shock, I know. Uh, a big departure for me. Now I'm going to teach you guys a blues lick, but then I'm also going to show you a way to modify the same lick to play it as what would be known as like a mixolydian lick, a lick that fits over a, a, a dominant chord uh, even more specifically than just your blues scale. And if none of that made sense, don't worry about it. The lick's still going to be good, all right? Anyway, let me show you the lick. Here it is. So we're going to bend the 12th fret on the G string. And then when it comes back down natural, we pick it again. Then we're going to go 10, 12, 10 on that same string. Okay, so we've got... Then we're going to go to the 12th fret on the D string, but we want to hit it with uh, the little fatter part, not the tip, because we're going to roll it over to the next string, the A string. So watch, we're going to hit the 12th on the D string, and then, and then roll it over to hit the 12th on the A. A really good thing that you want to you know, be able to get good with um, doing that kind of finger rollover. Then we're going to go 10, 12 on the D. Then you'd have 10 on the G, back to 12 on the D. So all together you would have this. But what you can do is you can turn it into uh, you know, a mixolydian lick, which really just, I'm just changing one note to better emphasize uh, what's called the major third of the chord of a D7. It would be an F sharp note. And so what we're gonna do, we'll take the exact same lick, but instead of playing F natural, we're gonna hammer F natural up to F sharp. And it'll give a bluesy sound, but also emphasize, get that major third in there, which will outline that D7 chord.